Welcome back everybody. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome weekend. Just want to say appreciate everybody coming back and watching more videos or all of the videos that I'm posting. I do post sporadically throughout the week. Um, so I really don't have a set time or day like most YouTubers. Um, so I just kind of make a video when I'm actually doing something in here and then I get let you guys know what's going on. Um, I'm not doing daily videos so I'm sure some of you guys will be happy about that and sorry if you guys wanted that but in this one we're gonna be feeding some of the larger snakes now they're not massive by any means but they are the biggest snakes in the room and everybody knows that there's food in the room right now anyways um, these snakes they're not gonna kill you but they could do some damage to you um, they are at that size where we have to use a little bit of caution um, and awareness and then we'll see how heavy these uh, these bows hit and we don't need any accidents because I'm the only one here and like I said now that they're gonna kill you but if it's a if it's a uh, strong feeding response with a wrap um, you know it, it could break a finger it could you will bleed it could take you know 30 minutes to get a snake off of you so I don't have anything here right now for an extra precaution some people do um, have alcohol or mouthwash, which I do have, but just not with me right now. I don't think the snakes are that big. And then the bathroom is right in there. So if I have to run them under cold water, you know, that's something that you guys can do as well. If they wrap it and then, and then you can't get them off of you. So enough babbling since I seem to be, you know, just talking on most of these videos nowadays <laughs> with, you know, we do see a lot of snakes. So let's check out the setups on some of these and I'll tell you what's going on. So if you've missed the last couple videos, the Argentina is up here and the Argentina has a nasty attitude when she's in her enclosure. When she's out, she's fine. Um, I have not had any issues when she was actually out. So any commotion around this area right here um, or even like right here if she sees me without a barrier she'll strike the glass she'll chew on the glass and it's a feeding response or a very strong defensive response so I know I say this all the time but we do need to use caution when we have open glass uh, even plexiglass enclosures um, one strong hit on the wrong angle can break a snake's neck and it can break their jaw I have not had it happen to me yet, and I don't want it to. I have seen it multiple times on social media. So, you know, you have a snake for X amount of years or months. The last thing you want to do is have a snake, have a strong feeding response, full on tag, even plexiglass with no give, your snake dies. So, here we go. So now I don't really know where she is. So she's not over here. So she's over here. She could be, I'm not sure. So she has been known to come flying out of here when I dropped these. Um, and since they all know that there's food in here, we're going to use some, there she is. We're just going to use some precaution, like I said. So I need to get my feeding tongs. Some of you guys have asked me where I got these and this is Pittsburgh uh, auto mechanic uh, tools <laughs> that I picked up for like four bucks at Harbor Freight and you can get these at Walmart. They're not very long. I really should get longer ones because the strike range on these snakes are pretty incredible. So she is going to get a very large meal, a nice large rat, and then we'll see, we'll see how she does. So, in all honesty, they could they could tag my hand on that. So, definitely not me being a hundred percent safe on that. And I know a lot of you guys kind of get on me about being too safe or 
whatever. But again, we don't need any any issues. And we got Peaches over here, hungry. So let's go ahead and feed her since she's right here. And I think we'll feed her. So this one's gonna go to the anaconda. We'll, we'll feed her, so she's on smalls. So we'll just feed her these. All right, there we go. We'll let her wrap right there. And I did not notice that. I would have cleaned that out before this, but she does, uh, she does need some new water. So the Argentine hits hard on feeding and I'm always losing my stuff uh, when I set it down. And my normal right here, this girl strikes the glass too if I'm not careful, but not like um, the Argentine. And th this girl, I mean, she's over five feet, five, six feet. So she, you know, I know I keep repeating myself, but she can do some damage. And she, these are very large meals. So they are, they are thawed out. Um, they do look a little stiff, but I do like to keep, I, I will come down on an angle. So I keep my hand above the top part right here so that if there's any miss, I, I'm not in the way. So there we go. All right. Probably, uh, so I should have came in here earlier without the food in here. I should have taken her out of the water dish, removed the water dish. That way she's not sloshing water around, but I think that's okay. Um, that should be good. I have had on the off chance while they're wrapping, um, the snake come off of the wrap and strike at me. So, um, just because they are wrapping the snake does not mean that you are 100% in the clear. And then you can see, you can see both of these girls. See how they, they kind of have the S shape. I don't, I don't know if you guys can really see because it's kind of blurry. So they kind of have that S motion. And I've noticed on just my snakes that the snakes kind of rock their heads back and forth like a side to side motion. And all the boas do it. The anacondas don't. Um, my smaller ones don't over here. But my bigger ones definitely do. So I'm going to feed this very large rat to the albino. I hope it's an okay size as it should be. So I do apologize now that I'm doing this. Um, I should have gone in here earlier. And I should have removed the water dishes so it is a better angle for us to see. So my apologies on that. And then you can see her as she's in that little S motion right there. She is ready to strike. So we'll swing that down. And I know my glass is dirty and I guess this thing's kind of trying to focus on the dirt rather than uh, the snake. So. I definitely do need longer ones, that is for sure. We'll get this rat right here. And again, I apologize for the wrong or the bad angles. And this girl's gonna take her meal right into the, uh, the water dish as well. So we'll just close this up. And the reason why I use a hook, they're not gonna come out and break through, but it just, leaves a barrier. I mean, this is just me thinking this way. I could be totally wrong, but our hands do give off a heat signature and they do kind of go off of that. So with my hand up on here, that's a big heat signature that they could think is a rat. And I don't want them to confuse, um, you know, my hand with something like that. So I think I got out too many rats because she needs she needs something a little bit bigger so we'll give her this size right here 
gorgeous snake. And then I took these snakes, a couple of these snakes out earlier. You guys all saw how sweet and gentle they were, but the second they, you know, think there's food around, it's it's definitely game on. This girl is gorgeous. Cannot wait till she gets bigger. Beautiful animal. But that is her. We'll button this up. Sometimes it does take these animals a while to eat. Um, from strike to finishing, some of them can take, uh, I'd say at least 30 minutes. So I don't know who I got that meal out for. I know I wanted to feed the motley, but that's a small meal. Hmm. So I'm just talking to myself, talking to you guys. You guys don't know what, what's going on though. So <laughs> we'll, uh, so she's gonna make me nervous right now because she is still in hunger feed mode. See, there we go, she's trying to bite. So just because Anything around her right now is potential food. So if you guys will bear with me, I'll put the lid on and hopefully not smash her face in there. <laughs> so. All right, now the lid's on her cage and she can Enjoy her meal. Hopefully. I know there's a lot of commotion going on and she's probably not really thinking about her food right now. So she needs something bigger than this. I think I got the wrong size. There we go. And she missed. <laughs> Well, she wrapped it, but her teeth are on her body, which I don't like that. That's not the rat. That's not the rat, but we can see her. We can see her teeth, and uh, definitely not something to, to mess around with. I don't know what she's doing. But we'll just leave it like that for a little bit so she unconfuses herself. And we got a nice rat for Pop-Tart right here. Pop-Tart knows the drill, knows what's going on. I have to open this, so apologies for the noise. This girl is gorgeous. Oh, it is. It is hot in there, hot and humid, which hopefully anacondas like. So, she is going to be three. She's definitely on a very good diet I don't feed her too much but that this should be a uh, this should be a good meal right here we'll see what happens and that that is a strong bite right there that's a strong bite and a strong wrap if she would get your fingers or your wrist I mean that that would she's not gonna let go uh, she's not gonna let go for anything unless you run her underwater and or dump alcohol on her mouth and she's not she's not even that big so definitely as she grows i 100 percent need new ones of of these or longer ones so i'm gonna be looking around online to see if i can't get some uh some better ones stronger ones and now unfortunately i gotta somehow get her inside <laughs> and this girl is just being, I don't know what she's doing. I'm gonna try to get her unstuck off of herself. There you go, you weirdo. Now she's got this, yikes. So you got food, just not where you think it is. So it's wrapped up in her body. We'll, we'll close that. Stuff. We'll just do that one for now. So that's it. Um, I'll just kind of do a quick video around if you guys are still watching. 
of uh, just some of these snakes eating and then we'll end it so i appreciate the support guys i really appreciate you guys watching the videos coming back for more content uh, if you want to like it if you want to comment i do like interacting with you guys um, and until then see you guys on the next video